Van Gogh, the most expensive mm -hmm. dish towel kind of ever sold was a Van Gogh when he, for some reason, there was canvas shortages late in his career. And when he couldn't find canvases, he used the dish towels from the mental asylum that he was oh my checked gosh. into. Whoa. And so there are a couple of his paintings that sold for like 2.1 million pounds that are on mental asylum dish towels. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> So that's my, my notes. Very cool. Yeah. Well, when you asked me about doing this and we were kicking around ideas, it was truly just like scanning the room. Dish towels, they are such a part of our everyday life. And I feel like, at least at our house, they kind of make you smile when you're doing something that's sort of a gross chore. Yeah. You know, and so, and I do have them out and we have ones that are a little rattier that we don't feel as proud of and they stay in the drawer. Mm -hmm. And then there's the ones that we hang out or have out when people like you come to visit me. So. But I also think on that line too, there's, to me, I have my super functional ones that are really absorbent. Right. And yeah. then there are ones that I love that do the job, but aren't like, like my favorite ones ever were these cotton Ikea ones. Like right. Really yes. Clean. Yes. They were so like 49 those. cents a towel yes. or whatever. Yeah, they work. They really yeah, work. They and I find that I had a long run of bringing dish towels as a gift to people when I visited them because they were simple and whether they liked wine or beer, that was always part of the gift, but this was just something to hang on to and have. Yeah, and because everybody yeah. has them. Yeah, and, uses them. and you yeah. love them. Yeah. Right. So when we moved back to Michigan from Milwaukee, a couple of different people gifted me Wisconsin themed dish towels, nice. which I just love, and they're so fun. This has all the, um, it's all the things that Wisconsiners need to know how to party, including hot ham and rolls, really specific um, Milwaukee things like raw beef and onion sandwiches, and little ideas all over here. Polka, all the good stuff. Yes, you know, when I was asking ideas for this, someone said polka, so I was like, ooh, I'm gonna look this towel over and see if there's yeah, there's a lot of good ideas, ideas in here. Yes, and then I have, and I will never use these probably, except just to love on them, but these <laughs> were from my grandma Betts, and what I think is so awesome about this, she gave these to me years ago, and they're still as crisp as ever because she actually ironed her dish towels, yeah. which is what a time and place when that was part of the repertoire of homemaking. I can't even believe it, but they're just... Simple and these, I think they're just kind of like stiff cotton or maybe. And so, do you think she used these as like what we, you know, dish towels where you're wiping up everything, or do you think she reserved these for like wrapping around teapots or? I'm not know, even just... sure. I think, I mean, they don't look as worn and used as sometimes mine get, but right. maybe she just took care of her things a little better <laughs> than I do too. I don't know, but they're they're still crisp the way she had them ironed and. I kind of just love that about them. Yeah, and you can kind yeah. of tell too, they look like they're probably linen versus yeah. the cottons. Right. Which is extra, extra fancy. Yeah, so I do love these. And then, of course, we always had this kind of thing hanging at the holidays, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, this to me is classic Midwestern mom. <laughs> totally. Somebody hacked up their like guest a towel from the bathroom <laughs> right. and crocheted this, you know non-functioning <laughs> top on it right that would just either be hanging on your you know the bar on your oven door yes exactly or whatever. but yeah it's... and so this to me is you know i didn't use dish towels around we had paper towels right we always had these things hanging somewhere right yeah, yeah. that was actually one my so mom cute. pulled out because i was like do you have any more of those <laughs> right yeah. with a cute little frosty on there <laughs> yeah. yeah cute yes what well, else did you bring Oh, I actually also have, um, these are just more towels. These are the kinds that I would probably give to people. And I gotcha. can't remember who gave this to me, maybe my sister, but just, they're just cute. They make you smile. Yeah. yeah. No, and so speaking of, you know, kind of bringing dish towels <laughs> into the, you know, modern world, like you say, we all still use them, but I love that you can, you know, like these, there's so many artisans now making these. Right. So this yeah. was... Um, Party of One Paper, she does a series, and I think it's just for um, a certain retailer on Mackinac Island, because you can only, there's no vehicles, motor vehicles on Mackinac Island, right. you can only, you know, you ride mm -hmm. bikes, or there's horses. Right. Um, so she's had this, um, and you can see we've used it, but um, a, with this beautiful screen print of bikes, 
which is another thing to me because I'm like a lot of times the screen printed ones depending on the quality mm-hmm. they're not as good because the ink is just not absorbent but right. there's better ones and worse ones but it's a cool you know there's so many artful things it's mm-hmm. a blank it's a blank canvas yeah, I mean perfectly. it literally is yeah. a blank canvas but yeah, even the, you know, and this is one of my favorites. So I had this gifted to me. <laughs> right. um, and this is probably from Crate and Barrel from 20 years ago. Right. Probably, you know, but it's still kicking. But again, and this is one where I'm like, mm, it's kind of decorative because it doesn't really absorb Dry. very well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you're kind of like, mm. but I still love it anyways. Yeah. Well, I know it just, it's something simple, but that you have, um, like you said, a blank canvas and yeah. and memories attached. In fact, we growing up, we always had to dry the dishes. We didn't. Um, my parents, we had a dishwasher, but somehow, the kids became the real dishwashers yeah. in our house. So we would have, um, you know, we would look for the ones that had gotten really worn, and then we would like snap each other with them and yes. get them like right when they were just damp enough after drying the fortieth dish. We yeah. Would, give each other a little snip and I just think it was um I have lots of memories not snapping anybody when my grandparents would come over for dinner and then it was always the kind of an old-fashioned thing but I remember my grandpa and my dad would dry the dishes because my mom and grandma made the meal Ah. and so I just have memories of them standing there and and drying dishes there's just a lot of love surrounding something that's so simple yeah 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 Yeah. and I feel like too you know I could still go to some of my aunt's houses and they Mm -hmm. probably have the same Mm -hmm. decorative dishcloth it's almost like bathroom guest house you know like you don't use it but it's it's always there yes exactly well there's huge snow piles outside right now and this is tasting like summer and I know and we get fun glasses too yeah um, well, thank you so much for um, being here with me today, yes. coming up with a topic, and this was well, thank you. Fun. Cheers, Anne. Yeah. Cheers <laughs> to you. Thank you.